Hi, so today we're going to go over combining functions. And it looks pretty weird at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see how easy these are. So combining functions, f of x, this f, and then with the parentheses x after it, that is a function. Now a function is just a fancy way to write an equation. And the x in parentheses just means that there's going to be one or more x's in the equation for you to solve. The solution fx is the same as y on a graph. So if you're asked to graph a function, then the entire solution of the equation, the f of x, is going to be what your y is. Now the proper way to read this is f of x not f times x. It's not f times x. Do not multiply f times x. That's not the way to do this problem. The f with the parentheses x after it is just a way to let you know that this, the following equation is going to be a function. Functions don't always have to be written with an f, although f is the most common one. But you could write g of x or h of x or use other letters and with the following with the parentheses x after it. The important thing is to recognize that any letter followed by a parentheses x is a function. Now here's where we start replacing uh, or combining functions. This right here, f with the o, g, and then the parentheses x that looks almost like a function. If it was just f of x, that would be a function. Or if it's just g of x, that would be a function. But this says f o g with the x in parentheses after it. So what this means is this is a function within a function. Do not multiply f times g. This is not what this says. And this reads f of g of x. And I'll show you what, uh, what the setup is and what it looks like. So you're going to replace the x in the equation with whatever g stands for. So what this means, the f of, f, f of g of x, means you're going to take whatever the g is that you're given in the, in the problem, and you're going to plug that into every single x in the f equation. And then you just solve. So here, I'll show you what it looks like. So here's f of g of x. And you, when you're asked to solve these problems, you're given this, these two uh, equations. Here is the f of x equation. Here's the f of x equation. 2 plus 3x minus x squared in this case. This is just an example. And here's an example of a g equation. g of x is 2x minus 1. So you're going to be given these in the problem if you're asked to solve this. Now here's the two functions that you're given. You're given f of x function and you're given the g of x function. And it asks you to solve for f of g of x. So what you're going to do is you're going to write out that f equation, that f of x equation. So f of x equals 2 plus 3. And then when you get to the x, see it's supposed to say 2 plus 3x up here. So where that x is, you're going to take this, this whole g equation, and you're going to plug that in to where the x is supposed to be. So we're going to put the parentheses, like we were going to write the x, but instead of just writing an x, we're going to write this whole g equation, 2x minus 1 and then close parentheses. You see you're just plugging that in in place of the x. And then minus, and then see that the f of x equation has minus x squared. So we're going to take that same g um, equation, 2x minus 1,
squared. And then we're going to solve this. So see, f of g of x just means you take the g equation, which is this whole thing, and you plug it in everywhere there's an x in the f equation. Now here it's written out really neat. So here's the f equation, 2 plus 3, and then this would be an x, 2 plus 3x minus x squared. And you see how instead of the, writing the x's, we wrote the g equation, which is 2x minus 1 on both times. Now see, we're just going to simplify this. So the first thing you do is you're going to distribute this 3 to the 2x and the 3 to the negative 1. So that's going to be 6x. 3 times 2x is 6x. And then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then you just carry down the minus sign. And then we have 2x minus 1 squared up here. 2x minus 1 squared. So, you know, written out, that means 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. So here it is again. Now we're going to, we're going to ignore this part over here. We're going to ignore these guys over here. And we're just going to concentrate on solving this 2x minus 1 squared. So when you, uh, you FOIL it out, you have to use FOIL. And that's going to give you this right here. 4x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 1. And if you combine the like terms, which are these negative 2x and negative 2x, you're going to get negative 4x down here. And then you just carry the rest of this down. Now we can go ahead and distribute this negative sign, this minus sign, distribute that all throughout these, the numbers in these parentheses. So that gives you minus 4x, the negative sign times a negative 4x is positive 4x, and the negative sign times a positive 1 is a negative 1. Now we just rewrite this whole thing. So we start with the whatever the x squared is. In this case, it's negative 4x plus 6x plus 4x plus 2 minus 3 minus 1. And you combine the like terms. The 4x squared doesn't have any terms like it, so we're just going to carry that down. And then 6x plus 4x is 10x. And then 2 minus 3 minus 1 equals negative 2. And there you go. 4x, negative 4x squared plus 10x minus 2. So in f of g of x, you just plug in the g equation into where the x is in the f equation. So if that's the case, if you reverse it in g of f of x, see how this is reversed? You just do the reverse. You take the f equation and you plug it into where the x is in the g equation. So here's g of f of x. You have the 2. And then see where this x is? This is where you plug in the whole f equation. That's the entire f equation. And then you carry the minus 1 down. Of that. So here it is written real nice. You distribute this 2 
throughout the whole parentheses. So 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3x equals 6x. 2 times negative x squared equals negative 2x squared. And then you just carry that minus 1 down. Now you combine, you rewrite it so the x squared is at the beginning because that's just the proper way to write things. So you have 2x squared plus 6x plus 4 minus 1. And I didn't do any math here, we're just rewriting this problem up here. This answer up here that we got, we're just rewriting it down here. So we can combine the like terms. The like terms in this case are the 4 minus 1. And that's 3, so we're going to put this down here. And there's no like terms for 6x, so we're just going to carry the 6x down. And there's no like terms for 2x squared, so you just carry that down. And that's your answer, 2x squared plus 6x plus 3. So let's try some practice problems. Here's your f equation, f of x. Here's your f function, I should say. f of x is 3x minus 5. And here's your g function, x minus 4. So find f of g of x. Now, f is the first one listed, so that's the formula that you're going to have, that you're going to solve. The f formula is 3x minus 5. Now let's rewrite that, plugging in the g equation instead of the x. And here's the g equation up here, x minus 4. Rewritten, we're going to have 3, and then put some parentheses, and then put the g equation at x minus 4. And then you just carry on the negative 5 down. And now we're going to solve this. Here, let me get a different color. So now we're going to solve this. First, we're going to distribute 3 and times x. That's 3x. Then we're going to distribute 3 times negative 4. And that's negative 12. And then we're just going to carry on that carry that lonely negative 5 down. So there you go, the answer is 3x minus 12 minus 5. And now we can simplify these like terms right here, the 12 minus 5, and that gives us 3x minus 17. And that's it. Now we are at the same form, the same equations up here, the same functions up here. We have f of x is 3x minus 5, just like last time. And just like last time, we have g of x is x minus 4, just like last time. Now we want to find g of f of x. All we did was reverse the g and the f right here. So now we're going to use the g formula, since that's first. And we're going to plug the f in to where the x's are. So the g formula is x minus 4. Now we're going to rewrite it. And instead of the x, we're going to put parentheses and put the g equation in there. Or the, the f equation in there, I'm sorry. So the f equation is 3x minus 5. parentheses and then we just carry on the negative 4 down so this can be written rewritten 3x minus 5 minus 4 
we can combine the like terms, which is the like terms are negative 5 and negative 4. So that gives us 3x minus 9. And that's it.